Summer Kim with me. Yay. This is the earliest we've been to the bins. In a long time. That explains time. the sunglasses. Yes. <laughs> Do I get a challenge? I don't know. I feel like I should. I feel like I should because I'm liquidating. I say this every time. And then we go in and then I ditch this footage and I just buy all the junk I want. But today. <laughs> We're going to try. We'll see. We'll, gonna, we'll, we'll update at the end. How's we'll update that? at the end. So, I mean, I'm going for 20 pieces or less. And we have time so I can keep going through stuff. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> That's never happening. The day is full of possibilities. Mom doesn't have a lot, so my friend at school. Oh, so, so we're going to keep it at school for him. I like those. Yeah, they're cute. This is old tag Athleta that Kim found. We're already hitting our first rotation. It's good so far. This is it. Oh, yeah, yeah. These can do really well. This is just a few people. You never know with these with the cuffs. Some of them do really well. That's awesome. Found a couple free people yeah. pieces. This is Lucky Brand New Tag. That's the pilling on it. Okay. Not bad. No. Retail So this is so you. Oh my god. It's got a little Eiffel Tower and it goes over and it's got some writing pages. Look at that. And this then feels it has like that. Some, oh my god. It's just gorgeous. It's like brand new. It's brand new. Look at this little charm. This is like a like a little traveler's. I love it. <laughs> I love it your so trip. Much. Yes. Now I need to go to Paris. Does anybody in your house use dominoes? I thought this was like a mini back backgammon board, I and that, I love that, backgammon. Yes. I thought that How would be fun. How to write a letter. Isn't it so it pretty? It's great for your new desk. Yes. That's yes. what I was thinking, right? Yes. I love those. This is so cool with the fawns. Well, that's, I was like, somebody. That is so cool. I think if you put that on eBay or something, somebody would love that. I'm going to look it up. It's brand yes. new. I don't know. It's soft surrounding. It's soft surrounding. It. Yes. And it is. You know, I'm going to look it up. It's so nice. It is so nice. We love a good leopard moment. Oh, I wanted to see these that you grabbed, yes. too. Yes. LLB. I'm not going to use These are awesome. These are very cute, but I'm going to say no. <laughs> They're very cute. I think, I think I'd take those. I think they're in yeah, good condition. Like, how are the insides? The insides are good. They don't so feel they, like they, matted no, and they're not matted. They're oh, no. Still those are pretty good. A woman's nine. Nine. Perfect. Nice, nice size. Oh, awesome. And literally, there's one thing I can see that little loop. Yeah, thread. Yeah, no, that's I a have definite. I have a collection here for you. So okay. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of swore off dance goes because I have so many, many of them, but I feel like the Mary Janes do okay. Yeah. So I just gotta like check these out and usually I look at the toe and it's in pretty good shape, but I don't know. Found this awesome tapestry for Angie for her I love apartment. It. I think she's gonna love it. It's so pretty. At first I thought it was a rug. We have another clothing rotation coming out. And things are moving really fast today. What's the matter? It's Prada. No way. Yes. Why are you upset? Is this? That was that. It's a minor flesh wound. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Cute. I was very excited. I was like, you no. know, the lady next to me was like, oh. she found a Prada belt. <laughs> <gasps> this is amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the belt. So gorgeous. Yes. Do you want it? No. <laughs> Thank you. It's for you. For one of the cape beds? Yeah. Because you know how I'm always switching them out? That's so wash. light and beautiful. Oh yeah, my gosh. I think what that a would score. be lovely. Look beautiful. I love it. I just love to get footage of the blankets you find. I mean, I don't know I if you can I get that get out. This color is so pretty too. That is very pretty. So, woo! Traffic jam. Let All right, I found these gorgeous Burberry heels. I should say heel. Found a single one and I am going to flip for it because I found the woman who has the other one. So we're gonna go see her. There for you. <laughs> All right, easy come, easy go. What are you gonna what do? What are you gonna do? It's but good we, karma, but we found we did found these. 
which are Thank gorgeous. You. Just to slip them on. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They're so nice. So we got bean boots. Bean boots. Awesome. I don't know um, what these are. Lot is. But they're know. really pretty. I've sworn off clogs to a certain okay, extent, but so we'll look, we can look up the comps. I just have so many. Kim found this beautiful tooled belt in addition to the Prada belt she found. Comps on this Eddie Bauer, something super similar. We're like 65 bucks. We like that. Um, we found this brand. I don't know what the sell-through rate is, but um, really pretty. Cotton autumn cashmere, total boho, beautiful. I got this for myself. It's a men's extra large black cashmere vest. It's got a hole, but I'm going to take care of that and wear it and I also got these wide leg pants from Maine and we got these actually the girl who just won the toy cost gave the, you that the toy cost the toy cost the, the coin toss and I'm repeating what yes. you said I know like like, I, like it's it, normal right? um yeah no, so she was so sweet and brought these to me so yep and yeah. I still have to sort. It's crazy. I found a sold comp on these Tevis boots for 50 bucks. So I think I'm gonna grab those. I'm hesitant to get these bean boots because they're missing the insole, but they're really in good shape. So I might grab those. This fish, it weighs, oh my gosh, it weighs a ton. But I'm thinking like they usually end up like two bucks because they just wanna get rid of. Exactly. I mean, it's got a cereal. That Even is as a decoration, cool. yeah. it's just... Especially down the cave. Yes. See what they offer you. That's what I'm going to... Okay, my this is my new best friend, Flo. <laughs> and we love her. And this is her beautiful cotton blanket from Italy. Why are you, you giving it to so me, Flo? My thumb will be... I grow. love it. <laughs> she is a character. Yellow. Okay, this is just kind of absurd. We have to really go through. I got these cute little um, Madewell overalls. Aren't those adorable? adorable? Those are adorable. So I like this, Patagonia. Oh yeah. The shirt is cute. Right. We gotta do lots of swearing. Yeah, we have two full, full carts. Yeah. We're in trouble. Yeah, we are. Flo also gave me these Patagonias, but uh, I just, I have a hard time moving corduroys. Comps weren't terrible, but there's some serious puckering going on here, so that's a no. Oh, I grabbed these Levi's too, because I think I saw 34. 34, 32, Kim? Yes. For Levi's? Okay, that's Mark. Yeah. These are some really pretty Peruvian connection pieces. I still like picking this up, isn't that? I thought these Burton pieces were pretty cool. These look like brand new, these look like a sample. It is a sample. These may be original. And then this too is Burton. Kim's going to be a grandma in November. Yay! Little boy. So I found this. She has to take this. It's so cute. Look at these Lulus I found too. These are so nice. I literally just grabbed them by the right spot and saw that. This is a beautiful Vince cashmere sweater and an extra small. And it doesn't look like it's been shrunk, but unfortunately, I did find some holes, but it's so soft. It's pilly. It's super soft, but it's pilly and has holes. Oh, do you hear that thunder? There's a mad storm outside. These are the same company, Horny Toad and Toad & Co. This is the newer tag. So I think I'm gonna leave that one behind and take this one. I said, Kim, find me a bag. And she comes back with Bozo's bag. But Bozo's bag is going to work. It's nice and lightweight. Okay, well, take How much it. can we fit in it? A lot. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. This thing's the best. Okay, you make fun of me, but look. <laughs> look at this, look at how much we're fitting. We're still going. I am so proud of us right now. These, this one in the middle is all I have to sell. This is a me bag, Angie, and then boots. Actually, the, the, um, the books are mine too. It's actually neater than it looks. And Kim, how'd you do, honey? I did well, so this is all... Like the heavy stuff. Yes, the heavy that stuff get. that we can ask separate. And then we have the babies. Yep. I found that big... You're keeping the poncho. <laughs> 
Well, because when you go fishing, it's good to have one in the car. It's true. Um, and then I just found this. It's huge. Oh, is this for Daniel? So if Daniel doesn't want it, I'm going to wear it to bed. Sounds like a good option. Yes. Pun intended. Yes. They always play games at the Giswaldi home. It's so much fun. Okay. I am back. It's a couple days later. I have to actually move the clothes on my chair just so I can sit, but I gotta get him settled. Say hi, Lumps. Say hi to everybody, right? We've had crazy storms and uh, he hasn't been able to get out much today. So I'm gonna see if he rests a little bit. Today has been a crazy day. It's Sunday. We have had the craziest weather, tornado warnings. It's finally calmed down a little bit. I spent $159 this day at the bins which means I got approximately 80 pounds. My Goodwill outlet charges $2 per pound in New Hampshire. I was shopping with my girlfriend, Kim. I got some of her stuff that totaled $50. So my cost was about $109. You will not believe all the stuff I got. I got some books, I got some shoes, I got a few things for the kids, a couple things for myself, but wow, this was a fantastic day at the bins. And it's been a while since we got there and we just felt like it was good right from the start and that's how today was. And I think it's because we got there very early. I'm going to start with this pile of folded clothes. I actually took a pre-haul photograph and we're gonna get a post-haul one soon. This is a sports bra from Athleta that my friend Holly found. This is a tank top from Athleta. Um, these are not huge money makers, maybe $15 to $18, but at the bins, I cannot leave them behind. These three are Lululemon tank tops. This one is has this fun little pattern. There's the Lulu. I got four Lululemon pieces, these three, and a really cute pair of shorts. I'm really excited about the shorts. Um, this tank and a gray one. Um, I got two while I was in one section of the bin and then we found one a little bit later. I was in this one bin for a while and Kim was across from me. She's like, I noticed you haven't moved in a long time. I said, that's usually a good sign <laughs> and it was. This is an older tag, but I really liked these. Typically I'm not crazy about get picking up this older tag, but I loved how there's black on one side and then this like army green on this side. These are a size four. They're stretchy, they have zip pockets. They're really well made. I think these are great. They also have back pockets too. I liked those a lot. These are also Athleta. I feel like I have clusters of things because when I folded them, um, I kind of folded them with like things. These are a crop. They look tiny. These are an extra small. Again, probably $20 to $25 for these. I will probably list them between $30 and $35, $38. This is a Columbia hat. I just grab hats because they're just so easy to photograph and so easy to store. They don't take up any room. It may just be $15, but when I'm spending $2 a pound, you know, this was probably 35 cents. So happy about that. And it's one size, which I like. Oh, it's one size youth too. It did look small. This is a pair of, <laughs> these are Yogalicious Lux. These are mine that got stuck in the wash, but I'm gonna show them to you while I'm here. If you happen to be at TJ Maxx, I highly recommend these. I got these on clearance for $13 and they have, they have a little bit of a flare at the bottom and they're kind of lightweight and they have a slit up the side. So they're just a little bit more airy than regular leggings and they're lightweight. And you guys know, I've talked about Yogalicious before. These are mine, so I'm gonna toss them over there. Sorry, sorry Lumpy. Um, I'm gonna bring those with me to Maine. I love them and they were on clearance for $13. Loved, loved this top. It's so pretty. There's not a tag to be seen, but I love it. Let's look at the embroidery on this. Isn't that gorgeous? If there's anything you're really excited about today, let us know because I think we have over 60 pieces here. It's just crazy. I always look forward to counting things up at the end and doing the math. Today's no exception. This is Peruvian Connection. I found a couple pieces from Peruvian Connection and I also found a few pieces from Burton. I always find Burton there, but Peruvian Connection, somebody must have just donated some of their stuff. A couple basics and I think one sweater but it always sells for me. I love it. This is Ray Dunn, Gobble Gobble, very, very soft. We saw this first, and then a couple minutes later, I was in a bin and we found these, I was with Kim. We found these really cute 
pajama pants and they say fall y'all thankful blessed and then autumn vibes and I saw gobble and I was like that shirt definitely goes with these the second I said that Kim went in no stone is unturned with Kim and she found the gobble gobble so this is a set and I think it's so adorable so we'll list that I do okay with Ray Dunn clothes I do better with Ray Dunn clothes than I do with Ray Dunn ceramics and the pajamas whether you like Ray Dunn or not they're so soft this is made well just a plain Madewell tea. I was also very cautious of what I picked up because I didn't want bulky stuff that was going to overstuff our bins. I didn't want flawed things, but I still ended up getting so much more than I had planned. I showed this dress next to another dress. I had found a horny toad dress Kim found this Toad & Co. I put the Horny Toad one back because that is the same brand, older label, older name. And the comps, I wasn't gonna get this dress and then I looked up some comps on Toad & Co dresses. They're kind of like a Patagonia style dress. I saw some comps like 40, $50, generally like 30-ish. But I was like, oh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna grab that. And it's really nice and it's a nice fall color as we're kind of going towards the end of summer, even though we're in the middle of it. When you think in terms of retail, I feel like we're in fall already. This was one of the first things we found. Kim held it up and I was like, that's definitely free people. And it's one of these. I'm pretty sure I showed this in the thrift with me. These can do very well. Some do better than others, but anytime you find this thermal shirt from Free People with that really fancy cuff, the cuffs are always different. The colors are always different in the shirt, but that holds its value even though I think it's a bit of an older style. I picked up this THML top. I swear I've sold this before or something very similar to it. It's open in the back with this sheer panel and it's like a ribbed velvet and olive green and I thought this was very pretty for the fall. Kim brought over this hat. At first we thought it was Tommy Bahama and then we looked and it was Panama Jack and then I thought oh if it's Panama Jack maybe not but then some of the comps were pretty good. I just hesitate to get hats because they're a little tough to store and they're a little tough to ship but with uh, Poshmark this would fit in you know a large priority mailer but what we really liked about this was the band and this little is that like a dolphin or swordfish or something I think it's really cute so fun little Panama Jack hat this was one of the first things I found and when I looked closely at them I think they're men's, but I could be wrong. Do you guys know if Title IX sells men's clothes? They just seem long for women. They don't those, these seem very long and they don't say tall. They're a size medium. They are missing the little drawstring here, but that didn't bother me too much. They're really well made. Tend to do well with Title IX stuff. There's a zipper in the back. And I love athletic wear that is a little on like the dressier side as opposed to just wearing sweatpants. I knew this the second I saw it. I'm sure you're all gonna know when you see it, or many of you will, who have been at this game for a while. This is, this is the huge cowl neck, turtleneck, but this is Free People Beach. I think I've sold this three or four times in different colors. This folds down. I keep thinking it's not gonna be worth picking up, but then it always sells. It's just one of those classics, kind of like the waffle, style the thermal style with the cuffs this is the free people beach label i'm not seeing a size but it looks it looks on the smaller size i side i would say and then it's got this little hem in the back so a couple free people pieces peruvian connection athleta made well we're just scratching the surface here this is another peruvian connection and i really loved the graphic on this t-shirt isn't that so cool? This is an extra small, very lightweight cotton. I never pass on Oshkosh overalls. They're not huge money. Some vintage ones are huge money. I don't suspect that this one will be. It's just little girls. Looks like it's like 18 months or two toddler. It's just really cute. I hung this. I This next batch, um, you know, sometimes I put stuff in the dryer and I pull it out halfway because I don't want to overdo it. This brand was new to me. It's called Cotton by Autumn Cashmere. And I got two pieces by this brand and I really loved both of them. A little boho natural vibe to them. This is a size small. The other piece, which is coming up, I really, really liked. I grabbed this handmade dress for myself. I think it's gonna be a little tight on me because it feels like a stiffer cotton. I just couldn't leave it behind. It's, it's really so beautiful and well-made. There's pleating right here. 
it's a higher waist and then on the underarms there's this little black turned in there's a little detail here for the V uh, there's some gathering in the back here and a side zip I mean this was really made with a lot of love and by somebody who is pretty talented kind of remind me of an anthropology dress I am gonna try it on but I have a feeling it's gonna be tight so it will end up being sold but isn't that gorgeous just beautiful looking at it it's probably like a size 10 so yeah it's really nice though this is the other piece by cotton autumn and cashmere this is an extra small little poncho style i love this very boho with the tassels on the side it washed so nicely and i just hung it i think if you're even a medium you could wear this it's extra small but it's definitely oversized fall was in the air for me i was thinking about fall so i met my friend flo in the video she was so freaking funny she had kim and i laughing um, she would just come over and check in ask us if we'd buy something she was just really quick-witted and I loved her and she gave this blanket to me. I think I'm keeping it. She was making fun of me how in my videos I always say, this is so pretty, I think I'm keeping it. So Nido Note Italia, look at this. Okay, so when I first felt it, I thought it's so soft. I bet it's like an acrylic blend. Then I saw it was from Italy and I'm like, ah, oh, those Italians. It's usually gonna be wool or cashmere or something special, and it's 100% cotton. It is the softest cotton I have ever felt in my life. I don't know what the comps are on that blanket. Tell me if you've ever heard of that brand. Up next is another Peruvian connection. I do like this sweater. Just very minimal, classic, cotton ribbed, cropped sweater. Nice long sleeves in this nice oatmeal color. I loved this. Gosh, this was just such a good haul, such a good haul. I just liked everything. Oh, I think we're gonna give these to Angie. Free Kisses, never heard of this brand, but they're, it's a TJ Maxx tag and they're a large or an extra large. They're probably gonna be big for Angie, but again, so soft. They're just sleep shorts. This brand I have never picked up before, had never heard of it. There was a woman standing next to me. As I was going for stuff, she was grabbing it and I was like, whew, just taking a deep breath. And then I saw this and she looked at it and I'm like, I really wanna look at that piece. And then she passed, so I grabbed it and I ran comps and oh boy, Francis Valentine, look at this. It's just, it's just a basic cable knit sweater. What I could gather from the comps is if people knew the brand, then they'd price it accordingly and the comps were really good. And if they didn't know, it would probably go a little bit for less, uh, but this is flawless and it had, you know when you see stains, it was like like a yellow crusty stain, but crusty stains are sometimes better than stains that are just in the fabric because if it's in the fabric, chances are you might not get it out. I washed this by hand. I'm trying to see if there's fabric content in here, but I'm not seeing it at first glance. It definitely feels like wool, wool blend, and it's gorgeous. Um, so I oxy-cleaned the, the parts that weren't good, and then I just saturated it with water in the sink and then i squeezed out all the water all the stains came out with ease and it's gorgeous i was very excited about this i don't typically pick up misguided anymore because it sits for me but this was um a collab with playboy and it says playboy down the arm plus it's new with tag plus it was the little collab it's the playboy varsity polo crop and it's a US size 12, and I loved the colors. I think this is really cute, especially at the bins. Okay, oh, this was the other Lululemon piece. It was one of the last ones I grabbed, and I don't know if this is just crazy old Lululemon or if it's a knockoff. You guys let me know what you think. Look at, that logo is old school, but if you look here, it has the stamp on the fabric, Lululemon Athletica. You can barely see it. So it's got like a built-in, tan underneath and it's very tiny i was like i gotta take this home this could probably cost a buck or two i figured it was worth looking into i love that it's lined with this i think it'll be too small for angelina i would guess it's like a zero or a two i guess i got four pieces from lululemon flo gave me a bunch of patagonia she was just handing it to me there were some corduroys that i think i showed in the video that i left behind these i thought were really cute i tend to like their hiking pants from north face or patagonia these are cargo they're short 
like we're hiking in Acadia, if this was my size, I would grab them. This is the type of thing that I think is timeless and people will continue to buy. A lot, a lot of Patagonia has been sitting for me lately, but I think these are pretty good. I'll list them at like 32 or 35 and you know, they'll go somewhere between 25 and 30, I suspect. These are Old Navy. I just grabbed them because they were new with tag. They're just um, lined cargo shorts. And I think there was a cute pair, oh, right here. I feel like I'm missing stuff. These are airy. They look like, you know, the tag was here. They're really cute with the palm trees. Very similar to this, but not new with tag. These will not sell for a lot, but they were so lightweight. I could even sell these in a lot and list them for like $25, these two pairs. That might do okay. Um, okay, this was one of the first things Kim found, and it was a Lucky Brand sweater, and it was new with tag from Marshalls. The Marshalls tag was, I believe, $35, $34.99, and the um, tag from Lucky Brand was $89.50. I'll probably list it at maybe $44, which is half off, and then it would probably sell around $30. Isn't this nice? I tried not to get too many sweaters because our sweaters are bulking out. So Tina, please forgive me, but Peruvian Connection, Francis Valentine, and New with Tag. I didn't do too bad. Oh, I see another sweater. Oh, this I wanted to look into. This is the brand Spartina. It was New with Tag. What's weird about it is it was $118. It says Blush Infinity Wrap. But when I held it up, it looks like um, a skirt. <laughs> So I really don't understand this, but it's made out of alpaca. It's gorgeous. 37% yak, 30% uh, baby alpaca, and 25% polyester. This is good stuff. I believe maybe you just put it over your head like this and it just kind of opens up around your shoulders. Isn't it beautiful though? $118. So just, just these two items right here, the retail is over $200 for two pieces. It was crazy that day. It was crazy. I grabbed two ties. We looked them up. Kim looked these up for me. Um, they were brands I didn't know, so I'm more likely to try them out just because I don't know them. So Countess Mara, I'm trying to get away so I can focus. That was one, and they're in beautiful condition. Both of them had comps that ranged literally from like $5 to $30. And I thought, well, maybe I could do these as a bundle, list them for $35 and see what happens. Heart Schaefer Marks is the other brand. Do you pick up ties? I'm not good about ties, but again, they don't take up a lot of room. If I can do a quick flip on these for 20 bucks, then it's great. This was just sitting in a bin, like so pretty, so basic, and I just saw this. And if you know, you know, that is Ibex, one of my favorite brands. I don't know if this is a particularly superstar style, but it is, it reminds me of the Lululemon scarves of the past that were, you know, the infinity scarves. Yeah, it's just, it's just a good little basic scarf. What I love about this is it's very lightweight and it's not picky at all and it's cozy. I can't do heavy scarves anymore. The lighter, the better for me. But at the same time, it's nice to be warm and this is wool and it is really pretty. I love, 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 love Ibex and I got two Ibex pieces today. Oh, there's the tag. Do we have a tag? Here we go. I mean, some of my favorite brands were out to play on this day. Oh, it was such a good time. Okay, this is Dalton. It's been a while since I had a bins trip like this. Um, so I looked up this brand. It's vintage, it's cashmere, there's a tiny stain on it. Um, but there were two listings. One was listed at 89, one was listed at 80. This has the tiniest little mark, I'm gonna show you. And I don't even think I'm gonna treat it because we have too much to process. I think we're just gonna note it and move on. I did not see any moth holes. So maybe I'll list mine at like $59 and we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. These I think are super cool. These are Burton, as I mentioned. I always find Burton here, but these are a sample and they look like they've never been worn. So there's the sample information. It says right on there that it's a sample. They're this rust orange color, size small. Oh, is this a little flaw in the front? Uh, I'm afraid it is actually. If you look at the front, there's a belt that goes through the back here but then in the front, maybe maybe we'll just tie it. 
I'm sure because it was a sample, there's supposed to be a button or something and maybe they just decided against this, but look at how nice they are. They have the front pockets, they stretch the little button and you flap it open and it's got this great stripe. These are fantastic. So we'll have to do a little research in these, but if you like the brand Burton and you want an original pair of pants, they are very well made. Can't say enough about them. Okay we've gotten to another exciting part of the haul, and that's the belts. I love belts because they're easy to ship, they photograph well, and they can bring you some good money. So this is a Peruvian connection belt. And again, not all pieces are created equally. Like I got two basic t-shirts. I don't expect a lot for those. I suspect that the ribbed sweater will do okay, and the comps on this belt was pretty were pretty decent too. So it just, it feels like wool and it's just this you know very simple belt super lightweight let's weigh it i have my scale let's see how much this cost us so this is 1.8 ounces so we'll say two ounces 16 ounces would be two dollars eight ounces would be a dollar four ounces would be 50 cents two ounces 25 cents for this belt and it's probably going to be between 25 and 40 dollars isn't that exciting? I love weighing stuff. How pretty is this? Kim found this. This is like a little misshaped, but it was too beautiful to leave behind. It just says 26 on it. This I can picture with like a nice boho oversized gauzy something. And then this to just cinch it all in. You can see the 26 on the back. I love tooled leather. I'm already gonna have to change my battery. I can see that. Um, I swear I've sold this before. It says CW something, made in Turkey, genuine leather. This I just think is classic, thick woven belt in a size large, just gorgeous. Look at the color, the condition is beautiful. $25, I'm guessing for that. But here we go, this is the Prada belt that my good friend Kim found. Absolutely beautiful. We were on the cusp of getting that Burberry pair of shoes, as you saw, but we flipped for it. I saw the girl immediately after I found one of the heels and I was like, you know, I can either walk around and hide this and play the waiting game and hope she puts it back, or I can just let her know that I have it and we can flip for it and move on. <laughs> so that's what I decided to do. She was lovely and earlier in the day, she had come over and given me something that she saw I had. I think it was uh, an Ugg boot, which was so sweet. And then I also noticed she had a slipper that I have. You always notice the people who are picking up the same thing as you and we had very similar taste. So she brought over the Ugg boot and I said, you know what? I think I have a slipper that you have. And so we swapped. So I was like, I'm not gonna try to you know, outweigh this girl. Anyways, we flipped on it. She called Tails. She didn't want to be in the video, but Kim did get a little bit of footage and it was Tails. So she got the Burberry heel, but I did get a Prada belt from my friend Kim and I'm so excited. It says 85 over 34. Am I seeing that right? I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, and then there's Prada. I like to go like this. Sometimes you can see it. And here is the belt buckle. Prada belts run the whole gamut. I mean, you'll see Prada belts for $30. You'll see Prada belts sell for over 100, close to 200. Um, so there were some imperfections on this. You can see right there on the back side and somewhere here. So it's not perfect, but I love that it's a larger size and I love that the belt buckle is interesting. So I think it's got those two things going for it and it's a great color. It's very neutral. I would say it's like an extra large belt, um, but isn't it beautiful? It's always a good day when you find Prada at the bins. Thank you, Kimmy. I love you. Very excited. So I love all four belts that I got, like absolutely love them. Okay, we're doing okay. I'm gonna keep going until my battery runs out. Let's do some shoes now, since they're right here. I can go through them pretty quickly. These were some L.L. Bean boots that Kim found. I didn't go crazy with shoes because Tina and I are just starting to see our floor. I didn't wanna go crazy with shoes. So you'll see that the shoes that I got are all in pretty good shape. They're definitely fall oriented. We got these bean boots. Um, they don't have an insole, and I'm so sad that they're not my size. Oh, gross. This I'm throwing out. Hold on. 
On one, there was no insole, and on that one, obviously, somebody had put one in. So no insole on these, but bean boots are expensive. And these are the brown ones. They're size eight. They're super common size. And aside from not having the insole, they are in excellent condition. Quite upset that they're not my size because this is exactly the bean boot that I want. But I think I would need an eight and a half. Although maybe they look big to me. I wonder if they're a men's eight. I think they're gonna fit me. I'm gonna try these on and we'll go from there. See, now Flo is laughing because I'm keeping my haul. These are Keen boots, not Keen, I take that back, Teva. Um, I originally did not grab these. I grabbed one and then put it down and then went to the other side of the bin, saw the other one, was like, you know what, these look pretty decent, ran comps, and I did find a pair that sold for $50. They were new with tag, but I mean, if I can get 35 for these, I'd be really happy. They're in good condition. The toes might need a little bit of love, but other than that, they're great. And um, these are Ugg boots. I just kind of liked the stitching around these. Again, not perfect, but not terrible. Uggs are definitely something I just don't price crazy expensive unless they are a pair that is that warrants that. But you know, I might price these at about $35. They do take up a little bit of room though. So I, I did get bulky shoes. Um, these I love, they're Uggs, but I love them because they are these low profile shoes. These are fantastic and these are in really good condition. When the battery wears out, I feel like it's time for the seventh inning stretch. I know this is a long one. Okay, these Ugg shoes, I'm so excited about these. And Flo, I do wanna keep them, but I think they're too big for me. But look at these. I feel like the lower classics had a moment last fall. Nobody wanted the tall ones. The kids were going for that ankle length. So I don't know where these ones stand, but these were in beautiful condition. Check them out. Gosh, I really don't think these have ever been worn. It almost looks just like dust on the inside, but all of that Sherpa looks like it's in fantastic condition. These are probably the highest value shoes that I have. I got a little baby kangaroo Squishmallow. See his little pocket right there? Threw him in the wash. Squishmallows are great in the wash, so if you ever see one, I don't know Squishmallows for anything. When I sold on Amazon, they were all the rage and there were all these girls in my Amazon group who sold so many Squishmallows. They were like printing money. I don't know Squishmallow at all. I have a hard time moving them, but this one was really cute. And again, this probably costs less than 25 cents because this is lighter than that belt. Um, so we'll give it a try. Okay, let's keep going. This is a Vineyard Vines t-shirt that I'm actually pretty excited about. How pretty is that design? I thought it was really nice. It has, actually maybe Tiki J would like this because it's got pineapples and little, little Tiki drinks in there. Lovely. He's not a big Vineyard Vines guy. Jay only wears his Tiki J stuff now. We're packing for Maine. He's like, I'm gonna take my three short sleeve shirts and my three long sleeve shirts in my three different patterns in the shorts that I wear. He's all packed and ready to go. These were Eileen Fisher women's. I liked these a lot because they are a 1X. They're just a basic sweatpant, pockets, cropped joggers. So this probably comes just below the knee in a 1X. Super comfortable, excellent condition. This I bought for myself. Oh my gosh, I was such toast when I got home from the bins and I always wash everything. Like the second I come through the door, I just have to get it done. I wash everything that I wore that day from the bins and I wash all the clothes and I shower. That is like first order of business when I come home from the bins. I looked horrible when I was at the bins that day and I saw so many people that I knew, but I did want to shout out to, oh my gosh, there were so many people. So Holly and Nicole are friends that I know who are local. Of course, Flo, who I've mentioned a couple of times. Um, there's a beautiful woman from Maine with red hair. I love her and I can't think of her name. She was there with her husband, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I hope. They were so nice. I loved chatting with them. Shout out to her too, because she told me that the main bins, she found a vintage Chanel piece that's on Sotheby's right now for $1,300. Oh my goodness. I love hearing it. One of these days when I go to the bins, I just want to meet people and say, what, what has been your best find? Or what are you shopping for today? Wouldn't that be fun? It would be nice to just 
talk to different people and that's what happens when I go there and I get very distracted. But then there was this woman, maybe her name was Kay or Kat, I'm terrible with names, but she was there with her nephew or son, Joseph, who follows me. So shout out to you, Joseph. He was looking for some stuff and he's a young entrepreneur, reseller, and he was shopping around. It was so nice to meet so many familiar people uh, and then meet some people for the first time. So I just wanted to say, and if I missed a name, I'm so sorry, but I love seeing people at the bins. It's nice. I digress. I was toast when I got home. I was all excited about this men's extra large black cashmere v-neck vest it has a little hole it was just for me i was so excited and i put it in the dryer so it is no longer extra large it's not it's not small but it was big and baggy like i like it and now it's more like a large <laughs> maybe a medium i was just so out of it i forgot to pull it out of the dryer i'll try it on it may end up in my haul so this is just a little patch of things I had bought for myself. These are um, universal threads from Target. I thought these were really cute, bringing these to Maine with me. These are like such Maine pants. Wide leg, denim, like the pinstripe blue, really cute. This I got and I kind of swore off getting two pieces, but this is a Prana, just a tankini on top. I'll probably price this at like maybe $20. It's very nice. Here's the Prana tag. I love it. And I'm sorry if I'm not seeing all the sizes. There's a lot going on today, but these are a size large. This is a size large. Kim brought these over to me and I thought they were very cute. They're just J. Crew um, outlet. They're size four, but aren't these cute little boho shorts? They're gauzy and they just have this beautiful black trim with the embroidery. You know I'm a sucker for embroidery. Size four. Oh, these are the other Lulu, the other Lulu shorts. These are really nice. I have to find a style number on them. They're super high-waisted, very nice fabric. They're like faux pockets in the back. There's the Lulu, um, and they have a little cuff. I just really liked these shorts. I feel like they're gonna do well. They're in beautiful condition, but I have to hunt and find a size. Otherwise, I'm just gonna say that they're a size small. Let me know if you know that style. Oh, this I think was one of my only I really missed that. I'm sure there's more, but so far, I really felt like I went through everything pretty soundly. Oh, there's a little hole on the side here. They're Patagonias and they are size 35 men's organic cotton shorts. Very lived in. And there's now there's a little thing in the back too. I don't really want to list these. Um, let me know if you want them and I'll list them for like eight bucks and you can have them. <laughs> They're nice. They're just a little flawed. I almost didn't get these. They are BDG high rise baggy jeans and jeans are heavy. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm bringing home nice ones. And I really like these. They're a size 24. But when I ran the comps on these, there were a lot of solds in the $40 range for Urban Outfitters, you know? So I was like, you know, there were a pair of Abercrombie that I put back because I didn't think the style was there, but these are just a style that seemed to be doing pretty well. There were stock photos. These were a little on the heavier side. They're probably like a pound and a half. They probably cost $3, maybe $4. So if I can turn that into 30, I would be very happy about it. These are some Madewell overalls. How cute are these? They're shorts. You can always hear this chair is like, a, one of these days I'm just gonna like, fall right out of the screen and my chair is just gonna break. Looks like an old tag, but these are pretty timeless. Love them. Got those, oh my gosh, all the brands, all the brands. Grab these Lulus, uh, Lulu. Grab these Lilies, Lily, Lulu. These are just some really cute shorts. At first I thought they were youth and I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna grab them, um, but they were extra small. They have like monkeys and bananas on the pattern. Again, super lightweight. They're not gonna take up a lot of room in my inventory. They're gonna be easy to photograph, easy to store. This I got for myself. Uh, it is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren jeans, size large cotton. I just, I like a nice plaid shirt in the fall. And this is like a light cotton I can wear open. It would actually look pretty cute with my Acadia. Should I bring this to Maine? It's very Maine, plaid is very Maine too. Maine is such a vibe, I'm so excited to go. Because of the rain today, Anthony's 
flight was delayed. He was gonna go directly to hang out with Rocco up in Maine. Rocco's moved into his apartment already, so they were gonna spend two nights, just the boys. Angie's driving back. She's been away for the weekend. She had to postpone because the rain was so bad. There are all these moving parts. I just can't wait to get to Maine and have us all be together and breathe because it's been it's been crazy with all of the the weather has impacted us so much this is another patagonia organic cotton really nice button down again super lightweight and i love this i thought the the pattern on this was really nice what size is this it's a men's medium that's a really nice one this is an apron that i thought was so cute this looked very anthropology to me i almost wish i didn't put this in the wash because it might be like a linen blend, linen and cotton. There's, oh no, there is a tag, let's see. It's 55% linen, 45% cotton. So it got pretty wrinkly, but isn't it beautiful? Linen and cotton, it's so cute. Um, this I almost didn't get because it's old tag, but it just looked comfy, I don't know. This is Athleta, Kim found it. And it's like a velvety, it's silky, it's really nice, it's really nice. Next up is another Burton piece. Here we go. Isn't this nice? I had a feeling that this had never been worn um, I, and I almost just steamed, steamed it, but I washed it. Unless it is new with tags, I am gonna wash it. Isn't this nice? The neckline on it is super nice. I think it's a medium. It looks pretty narrow though. It looks small to me. This next piece, I literally, I got a little freaked out because there was a trash bag and I opened it up and there was like, Oh, you know, like when a mouse has been there and there's stuffing and just scrappy scraps. I'm so terrified of rodents. I can't even explain it. The day that I see a mouse at the bins, I think is the day my bins career is over. And I know people have seen mice there. And I'm telling you, when it happens to me, I think I'm done. So I really hope it never happens because I love the bins. I came really close with this. I was literally like, I don't know. I'm really selling this piece, aren't I? Um, I opened up a trash bag, I saw all the little things that made me nervous, and I pulled this out, and immediately, immediately I saw this on the back. And I'm like, it's Ibex, it's probably like eaten, and I, I, but I took it out because I'm crazy. And while it's pilly around the collar, it was in pretty decent shape, you know? And the liner is what was the wool part. Of course, I have washed this. Um, I shook it out, I was doing one of these, like where I was looking away and shaking it as much as I possibly could before I put it in with my stuff. And I didn't see anything, I just I just got freaked out. Um, so the inside is pilly. Tina loves the sweater shaver, so I bet she'll spend some time, but even if we just sold it as is and made it not a lot of work on us, this is a great jacket. It's got like a little pocket right here. Um, I washed it. And this was another one that I dried and I didn't mean to dry all the way and I was worried that the liner would shrink up because the inside is definitely a wool blend, but it really did fine. There's no way that this could not be washed, but isn't it nice? Very lightweight. It's awesome. Two Ibex pieces, super happy about that. This was a loft piece that I thought that I might keep, but um, I don't know, it looks a little short. I like longer, so I think I'm gonna sell this. This won't be much, maybe $15. And this is an Eddie Bauer piece that I was very excited about. Sometimes Eddie Bauer will surprise you. Eddie Bauer, L.O. Bean, sometimes their stuff does well. I saw a sold comp for this same, this reminds me of the, the Patagonia Cinchilla. Um, is it the Cinchilla? The crazier the pattern, the better. And there was a sold comp on this in a different colorway, same pattern, $65. And I believe it was pre-owned. So I was really excited about this. So probably list this for 59 and we'll see where it goes from there, but it's it's in excellent condition. And it is, and it's a 2XL, even better. Ooh, that's really cute. Hi, it's Hours later, this is Lori of the future, and I've already shared with you that I had 76 items in this haul, but actually we need to add some to it. I do this every time I go to the Goodwill outlets. It's only been a day or two. However, I had an entire Lululemon bag full of things for Angelina. So this goes into the cost of goods and all that average stuff. Prior to this, I had 76 items. Uh, $1.44 was my cost of goods. 
and I just want to show you what I got Ange because I found some really cute things for her. I bought this tapestry for her, for her apartment, her senior year in college. It has a thing over here for like a rod to go through, like a wooden dowel. I also got this, um, it's Opal House glass from Target. Still had this little tag on it. This is like a light blue silicone. Just again, kind of Angie's aesthetic. So I'm going to throw that into the dishwasher. Um, I got these jeans for Anthony. These are Abercrombie and Fitch, 3230. He's more like a 31, but he said to get them anyways. Jay's a 3230, so if they don't fit Anthony, we'll give them to Jay. But really nice. I'm gonna bring those to Maine with me to give to Anthony, because that's when I'll see him. These I bought for my mom. I guess this wasn't all for Angelina. These are Skechers. They're super lightweight suede loafers. My mom's a size seven, seven and a half. They look really cozy, so we'll see if mom likes them. If not, I'll sell them. This I got for Rocco. <laughs> this is my little family bag, apparently. This is an L.L. Bean um, zip up. Just a nice little pullover. I, unfortunately, I haven't washed any of these yet either because they've been sitting here. I got Angie this maxi skirt, which is really cute. Um, it's just long floral she'll probably wear that with a tank top she's been looking for maxi skirts she wanted a white one but i couldn't find a white one so i got that sorry so i thought i'd drop something she always puts little scarves in her hair or she wears them as belts so i grabbed this i'm like a sweaty mess right now i've been running up and down the stairs hanging stuff for tina for tomorrow and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot an entire bag. I do this all the time. These I thought were just adorable. They're just H&M, uh, size small, but they're really high-waisted um, shorts. This is Angie's vibe as well. I think these are really cute. You know, she'll wear something like this with just a plain t-shirt and she'll probably tie that in her hair. So let me just add, I got one, two, three, the tapestry for Angie, four things for Angie, four and then five for Rocco, six for my mom, and then seven for Anthony. So I actually have, what's that? I'm like toast. Was that seven? Seven plus 76. So now we are at 83 items. So we're probably at like a dollar 25 per item, a dollar 30. And then I did find my slip. So 159. 33 was the total. Kim went through the line first. She had 25 pounds for 50. Then I did the bag of Angie stuff that was seven and a half pounds for $15. So the things that I just showed you were 15. My main bag, like when I pushed the cart right on, it was 45 pounds for me. Um, yeah, so 159.33 minus 50. I picked Kim up at 7.45 in the morning and we stayed until about 2.30. We were there for just, I don't know, five, five and a half hours. And that's how much stuff we got. I just wanted to show you all those things because I thought they were so cute. I didn't want you to miss out. So let's, we'll go back in time. I don't know where I cut off, but I'll see you at the end. Mwah. I think that's it for clothes. We're gonna go really quickly through some books that I bought and I and I think we're done. For my journaling, um, I got this book, How to Write a Letter. You know, I just always feel like there's an occasion that you need to find the right words. I love just that, finding the right word for birthdays. So it has sections for thank you notes. I thought it was such a nice little desk book and you know me and my journaling and letter writing and all that stuff, I thought it was great. And books are like 50 cents a pound or something crazy low like that. On my second channel, when I do writing samples, sometimes I don't wanna just write boring things. So my friend Marguerite, who's my good friend, she found a book of poetry at, a, at like a bookstore, like an old bookshop. She will just take excerpts from poems that she likes. And I'm not like this deep poetry kind of person, but I, I loved the idea. And even if I find two poems in a book that I like, that I can write over and over, or just when I'm journaling or trying out new fountain, ping, fountain pen ink, I can just journal a pen. So a journal a poem. So I got this Poetry for Kids by Emily Dickinson, and there are some really nice poems in here. And these are beautiful books. You can always recycle books too. Like if I go through them and they're not for me, they're so easy to donate. But the illustrations are beautiful in here. And I thought it was really nice. So I got that and then Kim brought me this poetry book called Red Herring by Noelle Derelick. But the cool thing is that uh, the author signed it to some person named Tatum, but this must have been a book signing. So it's author signed. 
So maybe I could change the Tatum to Tata <laughs> and pretend it was for me. Okay, Kim also brought me this little journal, which I love as craft paper inside. It's this nice suede. I mean, this would actually be such a beautiful gift. Oh, before I get to this, I got this one for Angie too, because we always have dreams and we wake up and we write them down or we tell each other what our dreams were. And we're always wondering what it means. So this says 10,000 dreams interpreted. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I used to be a consultant for Creative Memories for a decade. I sold scrapbook supplies. The funny thing about me purchasing this is that I have stuff in my basement, Creative Memories stuff, that is dying to be sold that I haven't gotten to yet. But I know that some of these albums are bolos because people who are very committed to Creative Memories, they don't make a lot of this stuff anymore. And especially the page protectors, just Google Creative Memories page protectors if I'm not mistaken, I haven't looked in a while, I was floored by what some page protectors were going for. Because once you decorate your page, so these are the page inserts, and these were all new with package. I remember selling this holiday book. This probably would have sold just this when I was a consultant for $40. I could probably sell the page protectors on their own. This is the eight by 10 size. Because it was so inexpensive, you know, I probably paid a dollar for these things based on the weight. I think that's everything. So I paid $109 for everything that you just saw, 109. I am going to count everything and we're going to figure out a per item cost of goods. And I will consider things like this one item. I'm gonna add it up off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you, he was such a good boy during that. Oh, he's still sleepy. Are you still sleepy? Oh, you're so, <laughs> so tired. All right, so I counted everything up. I had 74 things that I showed you today. I counted the, um, obviously the creative memory stuff. He's still asleep. The creative memory stuff as one item, the gobble Ray Dunn set as one item. Everything else I did individually. Also not shown today, I got a pair of lounge pants from Old Navy for myself in a size large. They were called Sunday Lounge. And then I got a black um, maxi dress from Crofts and Barrow. Um, that's also not pictured. So that's 76 items. I spent $109 on the stuff from today. So my average cost of goods was $1.43 for all this stuff. So I feel fantastic about it. Let me know what your favorite thing is. If there's anything that you like, um, definitely let me know in the comments. I will try to get it listed as soon as possible. Oh my gosh. He slept that whole time in between battery changes, moving everything. And I thought he was up, so I grabbed him and he's still sleepy. Oh my gosh, he's so precious. He's so funny. If you enjoy bins hauls and you like seeing my treasure hunts, please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you wanna be part of my YouTube community. I release videos two times a week. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really nice to have a great day at the bins and I look forward to going back soon. Are you up? You're so sleepy. Okay. I am going to put him down because apparently he's very sleepy. Say bye everybody. Say I'm so sleepy today. I'm so sleepy. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll be back soon. Bye.